journal, entry one. I'm about to embark on one of the great challenges of my scientific career. <laughs> teaching Penny physics. <laughs> I'm calling it Project Gorilla. Hey, Sheldon. Come in. Take a seat. Subject has arrived. <laughs> I've extended a friendly, casual greeting. Ready to get started? One moment. <laughs> Subject appears well rested and enthusiastic. <laughs> Apparently, ignorance is bliss. <laughs> All right, let us begin. Introduction to physics. You what is physics? Physics comes from the ancient Greek word physica. It's at this point that you'll want to start taking notes. <laughs> physica means the science of natural things, and it is there in ancient Greece that our story begins. Ancient Greece? Hush, if you have questions, raise your hand. <clears throat> It's a warm summer evening, circa 600 B.C. Penny. I have to go to the bathroom. What? Can't you hold it? Not for 2,600 years. I... <laughs> now remember, Newton realized that Aristotle was wrong and force was not necessary to maintain motion. So let's plug in our 9.8 meters per second squared as A, and we get force, Earth gravity, equals mass times 9.8 meters per second per second. So we can see that MA equals MG. And what do we know from this? Uh, we know that Newton was a really smart cookie. Have you suffered a recent blow to the head? Hey, you don't have to be so mean. Okay, look, can we just please forget about all this extra stuff and can you just tell me what Leonard does? All right. Leonard is attempting to learn why subatomic particles move the way they do. Really? That's it? Well, that doesn't sound so complicated. It's not. That's why Leonard does it. <laughs> okay, I just have one question. What exactly are subatomic particles? A good question. Thank you. And to answer it, we first must ask ourselves, what is physics? Oh, boss. It's a warm summer evening oh. in ancient Greece.